we need to continue to supply um, uh, uh, weapons uh, to Ukraine. NATO allies will continue to uh, provide uh, supply weapons to Ukraine uh, as long as necessary. This is extremely important because Ukraine is uh, fighting a war for freedom, for democracy, for our uh, shared values. Uh, and, and therefore, we have uh, supported Ukraine for many, many years. Uh, NATO allies stepped up uh, the support actually before the invasion because we had very uh, reliable intelligence about the, um, the, the, the likelihood of a Russian invasion uh, as, as of last fall. And then after invasion, allies have stepped up further and more allies are now also delivering uh, weapons, military aid, uh, humanitarian financial support to, uh, to Ukraine. And, the, and there was a st strong commitment from the NATO summit last week to uh, continue to further uh, support Ukraine, also with military uh, support. Uh, and, and we need to do that because what we see is that uh, Russia continues to pursue uh, a military outcome of the conflict in Ukraine. It is good that, we, that talks are going on, uh, but so far we have seen no real uh, change in uh, the Russian uh, main objective, and that is to have a, a military outcome uh, of the conflict, and they continue to pursue a military outcome. So uh, we need to be ready to continue to provide support to Ukraine. Okay.